Y'all know the perfect way to start a video? That's the way to do it right there. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Perfect's having a great day today. So you join me from inside the truck on the way home from the landfill. And today's video is gonna be reviewing my exhaust. Now that's the reason I've got the windows down right now. I don't know how bad the wind noise is. Uh, I'm actually gonna roll these up just a, a smidge. That way we can uh, hopefully hear me a lot better. But uh, today we're gonna be reviewing my full exhaust. Now I did a video about a week before the truck went into the shop to get this full bolt-on setup done. So uh, for those who are new to the channel and don't know the exhaust setup on this truck, let's go through it. So up top, we've got the headers, DNA, DNA motoring short tube headers. They're inch and seven eighths, uh, and they hook up pretty much without a, without a hitch. Um, they're actually meant for the Ranger, believe it or not. These are actually Ranger headers. Um, the reason I picked Ranger headers is because actual sport track headers are rare and hard to come across and are very, very expensive. Ranger headers, albeit though, are easy to come across and aren't terribly expensive. These headers are about $150. Um, <clears throat> the only difference is, is that the EGR tube didn't hook up quite easily on this truck as it probably would on a Ranger. I'm guessing the EGR tubes between the two trucks are different. Um, Mid-pipe wise, instead of using a Y pipe or an H pipe to eliminate a lot of the rasp this truck would probably have otherwise, um, besides the fact it's a V6 and V6s are by nature very raspy, um, we've got a True Flow X pipe, which is mo mo which has been modified up with the stock cats. The original Y pipe has actually been cut apart. It is actually being used as a downpipe setup now, rather than a Y pipe setup. So it is a complete true dual exhaust. Um, but instead of having a Y pipe, this has downpipes into an X pipe. The downpipes are from the old Y pipe. As far as mufflers go, we went with a very unique setup. No one in the sport track community has done this, and pretty much everyone hates it, but me in the sport track community and that is the Magnaflow 6-inch Race Series mufflers. They are very short and very loud. They're straight through design, and like right now, it's not too bad. I can hold a conversation at this volume. But, uh, as I'll show you guys in a moment when I get through this red light, it gets loud when you actually put your, when you put your foot on the, on the fun pedal. So right now, it's not too bad, but when I say this, It's loud. <laughs> it's definitely one of the loudest sport track setups I've heard. And believe it or not, it's not bad. I can easily get used to this. I've gotten used to it over the time I've had this setup on the truck, which has been close to a month now. Um, but the truck in general, it's loud when you want it to be, and it's pretty toned, pretty quiet when you want it to be as well. Um, obviously, there's a good bit of drone, which you actually can hear right now at 50 miles an hour because my foot's not really pressing the gas too much. Um, but right now at 50 miles an hour you can guys can tell there's a lot more wind noise than there is drone because i've got the windows down and uh i like that that's actually a good thing uh i've you know it's about as droney as the old Flowmaster was at this speed now obviously like i said when you start giving you need to start pressing the fun pedal things get a little bit noisy um so let's compare it to the old Flowmaster setup that i used to have uh if you guys aren't new to the channel uh, I used to run a Flowmaster 40 on a completely stock setup. It was stock header, stock mid pipes, or stock mid pipe, I should say, because it was a single exit. Uh, stock resonator, everything. All four catalytic converters were on the truck at the time. It is now it only has two, uh, and those are the main ones, um, which I was told there wasn't really a sensor on the mid cats. They were more there for just for decoration. That was incorrect. Uh, they are actually hooked up to a sensor, um, so you will need to do some sort of whatever fix you may choose to do for that. Um, we wound up using a O2 extension to fix that issue uh, with the codes and all that stuff. So now it's completely emissions compliant, uh, no check engine lights or anything like that. Everything is perfect. The old Flowmaster setup I had was droney. It was very droney and while the idle on this actually sounds deeper than the Flowmaster, um, it wasn't quite as raspy and that is of course because the truck had two more catalytic converters and a resonator, a E46 action. Uh, which it now doesn't have. We're down to two cats, no resonators, so the truck is considerably louder than it used to be. 
Um, a lot of people ask me why I wanted to switch it up. Quite frankly, the Flowmaster kind of sound wasn't for me anymore. Uh, I was ready to change things up um, and go to something that was a bit more my taste. Uh, you guys know, I've said it before in videos, I'm really a car guy that's trapped in a truck owner's body. Um, so I've been trying to use this truck as kind of like what I would do if I had an import car or some sort of performance car and molded it into the truck's image, uh, which is where a lot of this has come from, including the exhaust. I wanted the exhaust to purposely sound more like a car V6 than a truck or a V8, uh, which is what the majority of people who get Flowmasters are trying to do. They're trying to emulate a truck sound or a V8 sound. I, on the other hand, wanted to have this thing actually sound like a V6. So I chose these mufflers because they're about as close as I could get to sound like a true V6. Um, some, say my, some say it might be too raspy. Uh, I'm you know, partially with them. I think it's really raspy, uh, but I've gotten used to it. And when you're inside the truck, you don't hear it too bad. Uh, when you're outside it though, it's just where everything breaks loose. All of the noise, all of the rasp, and it's not terrible. Uh, I have had, I've, I've heard cars with a lot more rasp, it's a lot worse, but um, it's definitely, you know, uh, one of those things that's like you have to actually enjoy it in order to be, you know, you have to actually like that kind of stuff. Now I've got this ass hat. There's one thing that really gets on my nerves is tailgaters. I've said it thousands of times in videos in the past that it's just the easiest way to piss me off while I'm driving is to tailgate me. Anyway, back to what I was saying about the exhaust. It's a lot louder. As you guys just heard when I just you know, ripped it, um, this truck is considerably louder than it used to be. It's definitely, you know, not for everyone. Uh, the rasp is not for everyone. The volume's not for everyone. It's loud. But I've heard, you know, louder trucks. I've heard people that have gone full straight pipe on these, and that's not for me, and it is for some people. I mean, that kind of applies here. Some people are going to really love the straight pipe. Some people are going to love stuff like this. Some people are going to love quiet. So, for me, was it worth the money I spent? If you guys saw in the last a couple videos ago, I talked about was it worth the money I spent on the truck. I've invested almost over 10 grand into this truck. And I will say very quickly, yes, that exhaust was worth the money, even though it was a lot more than I was expecting to pay for this exhaust. I was expecting $1,200 at most. Uh, I wound up dropping $2,200 on everything. It wasn't just the exhaust I had done. Um, so I commonly say it's a $2,000 exhaust, and really it isn't. It's more probably close to like $1,600 to $1,700, which is still a lot for an exhaust setup. But with so much custom fab work and everything that went into this truck, it makes sense. So, at the end of the day, is this sound for everyone? No, but it's what I enjoy. It's what I wanted out of the truck. I wanted a loud, not too loud. This is a little bit loud for me. It's decently loud, but I wanted a more tone setup that was going to give me lots of enjoyment over, um, you know, the Flowmaster. The Flowmaster didn't really give me a lot of enjoyment. It was really just there. Um, sure, it sounded better than the stock. I mean, that's not hard to do when it just sounds like compressed air is coming out of the back of the truck. But the Flowmaster was a step above stock, but it's to me this is six steps above the Flowmaster. So, for those wanting to get a loud exhaust from the truck, and for this sport track, they're Gen 1, so that isn't going to be too loud. Uh, it is definitely going to be loud, uh, but not, you know, something like, say, a Tomei on a, on a Z or something like that, a Tomei on a VQ platform, which I think is utterly obnoxious and overkill and plays the stereotype of the Z. Uh, do I think that this is louder? No. I think this is actually a good bit quieter than a Tomei on a Z or G35 or similar. But it's still a good setup, even if it is this loud. I've really enjoyed it and uh, I couldn't be any happier with how it sounds, with how it drives. Um, it actually, oddly enough, revs higher now. It'll actually rev up to 57 now instead of 55. This truck was shifting at 55, uh, which I do want to fix. I do want to actually get it all the way up to 6 eventually. Probably not on this motor. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with how it sounds. So I guess I'll give it one last little stab here for you guys.
Now I can't get on too much because I'll get going really, really fast. These trucks are geared so long. And it's probably my biggest pet peeve with these trucks in terms of performance. When you get a stock two-wheel drive auto truck, it is geared so long. I don't know the actual gear issues, but I know it takes darn forever to get up to the top of first. So uh, next up is definitely gears. I think gears are probably next performance mod for this truck. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed just this review of my exhaust. And enjoy me getting a little mad at some tailgaters and uh, all that good stuff. So hope you all enjoyed. Stay safe out there with this old virus stuff going on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Okay, I lied. This is not the end of the video. So this is actually my favorite part about this new exhaust setup, which I just adore. Oh, it's not one to do it too much. There it goes. That's disappointing. <laughs> it was popping a lot more when I left earlier than it is right now. It was going berserk when I was leaving my house earlier. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time.